talk to me a little bit about how you're feeling in terms of confidence going into Tuesday. Well, I feel good. I feel good about uh, the long line that we were in. So voter turnout seems to be up today, uh, but I'm going to be campaigning uh, today through Election Day because I want to go out and earn everybody's vote. Go ahead. KD, who'd you vote for? <laughs> I voted for myself uh, to be the next governor of the great state of Texas. <laughs> next question. General, you said that you uh, thought you could win Cameron County. You uh, think you can get whatever high 40s in Hidalgo County. Do you still feel that way? And what are you seeing that makes you think, feel confident? I feel really good about all of the Rio Grande Valley because we devoted a lot of resources down there, a lot of time down there. I've been down there 16 or 17 times. Uh, we have more people on the ground uh, in the Rio Grande Valley than Rick Perry had in the entire state of Texas. And obviously, uh, my multicultural family has played a role in our ability to connect with the Rio Grande Valley. Every time I am there, uh, there are great cheers about the fact that my wife, when I'm elected, will be the first Hispanic first lady Woo! in the history of Texas. And that, uh, as well as other things, uh, shows that we are reaching out and connecting with and should draw very strong support in the Rio Grande Valley and across the state. Next General, question. There are a couple of uh, newspapers that have reported that you've clarified or changed your position regarding abortion, that you personally support uh, current law allowing abortions for any reason up to five months. Is that accurate or can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I think I've been pretty clear about it. Uh, I'm pro-life, I'm Catholic, and I as governor will promote uh, a state that uh, supports a culture of life. But I also understand that we live in a nation of laws. Uh, and the state of Texas has to operate uh, within uh, the laws that we have here. One of those laws passed here in the state of Texas is HB2, which of course I'm defending right now, and we'll see uh, how the courts rule uh, on HB2 when the sun sets on it. Last question. Do, do you think that, would you favor, I guess, undoing Roe v. Wade? Would you favor a constitutional amendment to end abortion? Remember, what, re well, re remember what Roe v. Wade said, uh, and it's progeny. Uh, even Roe versus Wade says uh, that a state has a legitimate interest in protecting the health and safety of a mother and a legitimate interest in protecting the life of the unborn. Roe versus Wade said uh, that that was beginning in the third trimester. Uh, then uh, Casey said that it was at the point of viability. And Texas uh, is saying that that is at the point when uh, the fetus feels pain. We need to see what the Supreme Court says about the Texas case. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you all very much.